Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned until the end for a special offer. Hello everyone. Today's oil painting is a very unique piece because I had started it before art school and finished it after art school. It was such a fun experience to be able to see the difference in my painting skills after a year of training at an academic realism atelier. Real quick before I start, if you'd like to see a 60 minute tutorial of this piece with instructional voiceover, along with hundreds of hours of exclusive content and monthly art rewards, feel free to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash happy artist. The inspiration for this piece was to show an optimistic view of the future, a harmonious merging of technology and nature. Against a futuristic city backdrop, the android wanders into the forest and discovers a kinship among the fireflies, who, like her, emit light. In touching their light, a mysterious energy flows through her veins, allowing her to feel more alive and human. Though the general concept has stayed the same throughout, my painting style and techniques have vastly changed. I realized that even in my earlier concept sketches, I had placed more importance on utilizing fine details to tell the story. But after starting art school, I learned that values are actually what help design the composition. So when I resumed working on this piece last month, I pushed myself to play up the contrast and utilize the lighting to create a more varied and dramatic value structure. I talk about values a lot, especially in my recent post art school videos, but values truly do play a huge part in telling the story of a piece. Most of my earlier works only featured kind of a general ambient lighting, and though I always yearned to play around with more interesting and dynamic lighting setups, I simply didn't even know where to begin. And that brings me to the next big difference between my pre and post art school process, which is the ideation and preparation stage. I've always been so eager to jump right into the paint application stage because it's the most fun that I tended to rush through the preparation stage. I didn't gather as many reference photos as I probably needed to. I didn't flesh out too many details in my concept sketch. And for my color mockups, I only laid down very basic color blocks. Nowadays, I am not only spending more time to create a more polished concept sketch, but I also rely on digital painting and resources as a kind of testing ground to experiment with new ideas. When I wanted to evolve the entire lighting setup of this piece, I started looking at as many photos as I could of humans holding candles or fairy lights up to their face in front of a dark environment, just to see how that specific lighting setup is supposed to look. I also tried to render it first in Procreate to see what it would look like. Even when I was down to the final stages of the piece, I would take a photo of the painting's most recent progress, import it into Procreate, and then render those finishing touches digitally first before committing to testing it out with paint. This came especially in handy when I was testing out different designs for her android slash cyborg bodysuit and I changed my mind three or four different times. I couldn't imagine what it would have been like if I had experimented with oil paint instead, um, where control Z and undo does not exist. I'm so glad that I tested it out in Procreate first because it eliminated so much time wasted and so much needless stress later on in the paint application stage. 
By eliminating any design-related issues ahead of time, I can focus my painting sessions on just the paint application alone, freeing up more time to try to perfect the technical techniques of oil painting without being hindered by a general lack of direction. I feel like the main reason why I had put this piece down and abandoned it for so long was because I was unsure of how to carry it to the finish line. I was unhappy with how the painting had been looking, but I was unsure of how to fix those problems. And I had changed my mind and reworked it so many times before that thinking about this piece just became daunting and stressful to me. And I just felt this overall sense of being stuck which to me is a huge cause of procrastination. But after learning from school that I can pretty much try out any new idea way more efficiently and with way less risk in the digital painting realm first, I finally managed to get over that hump. And that about wraps up today's video. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video made sense and that it can inspire you even a little bit. Uh, though the original painting has already been adopted, you can still find prints of this friendly android in my shop at happyd-artist.com. And of course, you guessed it, my eternal never-ending sale is still going on in my shop, so if you'd like 20% off your order of prints and originals, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes, all available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. I wanted to quickly thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the art community. I've actually enjoyed using Squarespace for four years now to build and host my online shop and website. So whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and visit squarespace.com slash happydartist for 10% off your first purchase. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist.